Can I really learn shorthand? This is the most frequent question everyone has in their minds before enrolling in shorthand class. Of course you can! If you learn to write in longhand, you can learn to write in shorthand too. Try these first three lessons from the Greg Shorthand book and start your journey of becoming the next shorthand master. Perhaps the most frequently used consonant in the English language is S, partly because of the great many plurals that end with S. Also, in the English language, S often has the sound of C. Therefore, both are written in the same manner. Here's how to write it in shorthand. You'll just have to write a tiny downward curve as it resembles the longhand comma in shape. Another very important sound in English language is A. A is written as a slightly slanted, medium-sized circle. It is simply the longhand A with the final connecting stroke committed. Take note, the circle may be written in either direction. Silent letters. In English, there are many words containing letters that are not actually pronounced. In shorthand, these silent letters are omitted. Only the sounds that you actually hear are written. Example, the word say should be written as S and A. The Y would not be written because it is not pronounced. You'll have to understand more of this as we go through the lessons. You have learned the strokes S and A. You can now create the shortened outline for the word say. You'll just have to combine the tiny downward curve with the circle and there you have it. F and V F and V are both downward curves with the same shape as S. They only differ in sizes. To write the stroke for shorthand F, write a downward curve, but this time, occupy approximately half the height of the space between the lines of your steno notepad or notebook. The shorthand V is written just the same with the letters S and F, but it has the longest stroke approximately the full height of the space between your notepad or notebook. Observe the differences in the sizes of S, F, and V. Try these outlines to practice the stroke of shortened F. Write the words safe, safe, face, face, safes, safes, saves. Saves. Now, try these outlines to practice the stroke of shorthand V. Write the words save, saves, vase, vase, saves, saves. Another important vowel in English language is the letter E. The shortened E is represented by a tiny circle, basically a smaller circle than the shortened A that we've tackled N previously. N N. The shortened stroke for N is a very short forward straight line. The shortened stroke for M is a longer forward straight line. Observe their sizes, letters N and M. Try these outlines to practice the stroke of shorthand N. Just follow the strokes that you have learned from previous principles. Let's try the word C, S, and E. Seen, S, E, N. Say, S, and A. Same, S, A, M. Vain. F V 
A N. Try these outlines to practice the stroke of shorthand M. Just follow the strokes that you have learned from previous principles. May, M and A. Main, M A N. Men, M and E. Aim, A and M. S E M for seen. Same, S A M. The following letters are T and D. The shortened stroke for T is a short upward straight line. The shortened stroke for D is a longer upward straight line. As you can see, they are written in the same manner but you have to observe their sizes to differentiate them from one another. Try these outlines to practice the stroke for the shorthand T. Just follow the strokes that you have learned from previous principles. Eat, E N T. Neat, N E T. Neat, M E T. T, T N E. Stay, S T A. Safety, S A F T E. Try these outlines to practice the stroke for shorthand D. Just follow the strokes that you have learned from previous principles. Aid, A and D. Made, M A D. Need, N E D. Feed, F E D. Day, D and A. Date, D A T. Stayed, S T A D. Deed, D E D. Saved, S A V N D. The last part of lesson one is punctuation and capitalization. We'll show you how to write these punctuations. Period. Question mark. Paragraph Dash Parenthesis Hyphen And that's for the lesson one.